Hi, friend. This last month, we were able to pick up some great movies for discount prices at a few places. I separated the following from where we picked them up. Let's start with Walmart. Who Framed Roger Rabbit, 25th Anniversary Edition. Directed by Robert Zemeckis, written by Jeffrey Price and Peter S. Seaman. Based on the book, Who Censored Roger Rabbit by Gary K. Wolfe. Starring Bob Hoskins, Christopher Lloyd, Joanna Cassidy, and Charles Fleischer. I grew up watching this movie. I don't even know how many times I've seen it. From renting it, watching it on cable, and then finally owning it on VHS. This has some great special features. There's three shorts, behind the scenes, and then commentary with the director, producer, and the writers. Evil Dead Steelbook, written and directed by Sam Raimi, starring Bruce Campbell, Ellen Sandweiss, and Betsy Baker. I already had this on Blu-ray, but I found this in the discount pin. For $7.50, I couldn't not get it. Plus, I was able to pass on my old copy. I'm not really a Steelbook fanatic, as this is only the second I own. But for the price and the title, it'd be dumb to pass up. Pearl, directed by Ty West, written by Ty West, and Mia Goth. Starring Mia Goth, David Cornsweet, Tandy Wright, and Matthew Sunderland. I knew very little about this when I bought it, other than it was the prequel to X and this was the only movie that we paid full price for, I ended up liking it, so it was worth it. Later on, I'll do a review of this and X. X, written and directed by Ty West, starring Maya Goth, Jenna Ortega, Martin Henderson, Brittany Snow, and Kit Cuddy, credited as Scott Muscutty. While I'm not really a fan of this, I got Pearl, so I wanted to get both of them. Ended up picking up this one in the discount bin for seven bucks, so it's definitely worth it. Red Dawn Double Feature, includes both the original and the remake. The original was written and directed by John Milius, starring C. Thomas Howell, Patrick Swayze, Charlie Sheen, Jennifer Grey, and Powers Booth. The remake was directed by Dan Bradley, written by Carl Ellsworth and Jeremy Passmore, starring Chris Hemsworth, Josh Peck, Josh Hutcherson, Adrian Pilecki, and Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I like both of these movies, but the original will always be superior. The remake worked with the updated story, the original using tension with Soviet Russia, and then the remake using North Korea. Both have great casts and look great. Tremors, Shrieker Island, directed by Don Michael Paul, written by Don Michael Paul, and Brian Brightley. Starring Michael Gross, John Heater, Richard Brake, Jackie Cruz, and Caroline Langrish. This is probably the worst in the Tremors franchise, in my opinion. I still like it because I love the franchise, and it had a good cast. The story was decent, but I really hated the ending. Landshark, directed by Lin Zhen Zhao, written by Tao Seiwei, and Cheng Siu. Starring Lo Lu Quan, Ji Meli Tang, and Jing Yang Yong. Honestly, I grabbed this because the picture on the back, it looked hilarious. Hopefully the movie's entertaining. It's a Chinese made flick about a genetically modified shark, and it looks like it's gonna be silly and fun. The Nicolas Cage three movie collection includes Face Off, Snake Eyes, and Next. Face Off, directed by John Woo, written by Mike Werb and Michael Caleri, starring John Travolta, Nicolas Cage, Joan Allen, Alessandro Nivola, Gina Gershon, and Dominic Swain. Snake Eyes, directed by Brian De Palma and written by David Kupp, starring Nicolas Cage, Gary Sinise, John Hurd, and Carla Gugino. Next, directed by Lee Tamori, written by Gary Goldman, Jonathan Hensley, and Paul Birnbaum. Next is probably the weakest of the three. I love Nick Cage and these multi-movie packs, so this was a great find. Prisoners of the Ghostland, directed by Sion Sono, written by Aaron Hendry, and Reza Ciso Safai, starring Nicolas Cage, Sofia Batella, Nick Cassavetes, and Bill Mosley. This one didn't get great reviews from what I remember, but I still liked it. It's weird, fun. It's kind of a cross between a Japanese horror and a bad psychedelic trip. Everything about it is off the wall, and I think that's why I like it. It's very underrated. Willie's Wonderland, directed by Kevin Lewis, written by G.O. Parsons, starring Nicolas Cage, Emily Tosta, and Beth Grant. Like Prisoners of the Ghostland, this didn't do too well. Honestly, I loved it. It's weird, fun, and hilarious at times. It might be in my top five Nicolas Cage movies. Don't forget to check your local library. They may have them out for free, or if they have library sales, you might be able to pick up some for less than a buck. Wu Chi, also known as Jian Wu Chi, written and directed by Dong Hoon Choi, starring Gang Dong Won, Lim Su Young, Lim Su Jung, and Kim Yoon Seok. I have no idea what this is. The library lady said that they had some Korean movies in a box and asked if we wanted to look at them. This one looked interesting, so I snagged it. Saturday Night Fever 25th Anniversary DVD Edition. The box for this is a little beat up, and it's probably missing some of the inserts, but I kind of dig this movie. It's got some great cinematography, and I didn't have it in the collection, so I figured why not. Major League Wild Thing Edition. Written and directed by David S. Ward. Starring Charlie Sheen, Corbin Burnson, and Tom Berenger. This is a classic 80s flick with Charlie Sheen, and all three of the main actors were killing it at the time. And I remember watching this a lot on cable. Gladiator, directed by Ridley Scott, written by Dave Franzoni, John Logan, and William Nicholson. 
starring Russell Crowe, Joaquin Phoenix, Connie Nielsen, and Oliver Reed. This is a stunning period piece by Ridley Scott. It's got a great cast, director's great, and the story's pretty awesome. I'm actually surprised that we didn't have this one already. Family Man, directed by Brett Ratner, written by David Diamond and David Weissman, starring Nicolas Cage, Taylor Leone, Jeremy Piven, and Don Cheadle. I got this because of Nick Cage. Honestly, it is a great movie, and I really love his performance in it. If you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend it. While not everything at Goodwill is priced well, Sometimes you can find some pretty good deals on the movies. Poltergeist Extended Cut, directed by Gil Keenan, written by David Lindsay Aber, starring Sam Rockwell, Rosemary DeWitt, Jared Harris, and Jane Addams. It includes both the theatrical and extended cuts of the movie, and I hadn't seen it, but for three bucks, I really couldn't pass it up. Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, underrated director's cut, written and directed by Rob Zombie, starring Scout Taylor Compton, Tyler Maine, Malcolm McDowell, and Brad Dorff. I'm not really a fan of this movie, but I kind of needed it to finish the zombie Halloween remake collection. It's a shame that it's not that great. The cast is good, but it's just not my thing. Thanks for checking this video out. If you want to see some of our reviews, check out that video. And if you want to see another haul video, check out that one. Thanks.